Do you want to build an extension to your S4HANA system, but still keep the core clean? And do you want to build some extension without deep dive development skills using, for example, a low-code, no-code platform? Today, the SAP Global Tour built and automates stopped at Zecht Hogenbos at SAP The Netherlands. It's a tour that goes deep dive into SAP AppGyver and SAP Process Automation. And I'm really happy to welcome in today's podcast Mark Huber, Product Management for AppGyver, also Peter Spiegel, Product Management for Process Automation, Koen Sanderink, Business Technology Platform Advisor, and of course the regular Jan Pennekoff and myself, Twan van den Broek. And hopefully we also have some participants from today's workshop. Welcome to HANA Café The Netherlands. HANA Café Nederland is een podcast met nieuws vanuit de SAP wereld. In het café spreken de gasten en stamgasten over ontwikkelingen, innovaties, events of praten ze gewoon weer eventjes bij. Laten we snel naar binnen gaan. Now I made a mistake. It's not Peter Spiegel, but it's Peter Engel. Excuse me for that. Hopefully the lower third is the, with the title is correct. Thanks Jan for uh, reminding me. That's so what we have a leader for, right? That's why we have a leader for. Then we can uh, discuss everything. those. Can <laughs> correct everything. So today, Koen, I think it's one of your ideas to organize this built and automate tour in the Netherlands, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was it was also Jan's idea. It was Jan's. Actually, idea. it was forced upon us. <laughs> yeah, okay. By the guys in the ivory towers in Waldorf. Wow. <laughs> no, just kidding. But that doesn't sound really I, pleasant. I, I, will <laughs> I will tell you the story. Really? We, no, Jan organized a very good uh, uh, automation and also AppGyver uh, workshop in May last year here in, uh, in Den Bosch. And that was actually quite successful. There were two separate sessions. That was during SAP Inside Track. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that was, the, yeah, the, the, it was an SAP, uh, uh, SAP yeah. Inside Track. Um, and based on that, uh, we said, well, we have to give a follow-up. And then we actually wanted to do a kind of hackathon today. Yeah. Um, that was the idea by then. And we started organizing a little bit. But then suddenly, um, the build and automation tool came by. And they said, yeah, we really want to have uh, an, 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 an edition in the Netherlands and somewhere around October. And then we started looking in the agenda and actually everything was full except this date. And it comes close to a hackathon. So that's why we said, well, okay. Let's switch the hackathon and uh, give the date to the global automation tour, building an automation tour. I always forget that name. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it happened. And today it was, it was quite a successful day with uh, 33 participants uh, in the end, customers and partners. And uh, I think everybody had a very nice time. Uh, yeah. It didn't really come falling from the sky, obviously. I mean, the, the, the reason that the built an automation tour was launched in the first place was the fact that um, we have um, made a very an exciting announcement earlier this year about um, a, a product that we call SAP Process Automation, uh, but also saw the opportunity for um, a lot of people to connect AppGyver to this S S SAP Process Automation tool and to build uh, basically end-to-end -end from front-end all the way to processes, all the way to inboxes and approvals and business rules, etc., uh, from one um, environment, so to say. And the nice thing also is that, you know, as SAP, we find low code, no code very important. We have had several HANA cafes about it. And um, to us, it doesn't really matter what kind of low code, no code environment you choose. As long as it's um, beneficial for you, you can build nice things on um, on it to, to, to facilitate and to uh, help you with, for instance, uh, your S4 or other line of business applications, right? So this, this roadshow didn't come um, falling from the sky. It, it was actually a new announcement made by uh, our product management uh, groups uh, that are behind low code, no code, behind FGIVER and behind, behind uh, the process automation tools. Yeah. So, it, and it, so what you just mean is uh, use any tool that you have as long as you make your business and your end user happy as fast as possible, which is of course low code, no code platform, the, the typical use case. Yep. Do it faster. Well, the focus is on innovation, not, not on being SAP specific because we know that no customer at this moment is having a homogeneous landscape. It's all heterogeneous landscapes uh, with all kinds of applications in place. Uh, that includes uh, most of the times uh, SAP software as well. And whatever customers choose, whatever makes them happy, whatever they uh, create the biggest acceleration with, uh, for us the implementation of the SAP applications is important and the innovation on top of it. Yeah. 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 
I try to participate as well during some preparation for the podcast as well. But I followed the AppGyver uh, workshop and uh, that was really well prepared. You also came to the process automation part. How how did you experience yeah. that? Yeah, that was that was enlightening to to actually uh, to actually follow the the, the 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 course as well. I mean, um, have seen it. I've heard about it. I've seen the screenshots and stuff, and but I've never really done it hands on. Um, it, it made it quite easy to do, uh, although. Um, I did find that when it comes down to in, to efficiencies, I maybe um, expected more uh, with regards to you know I, it, it definitely has efficiency um, gains there because if I would have used uh, UI five or code from scratch, I would have taken a l much longer time than just an hour to build an app. Um, but then again, I you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm a very impatient guy. I expected it to be uh, happening in five minutes instead. Five minutes. So yep. that's I, I hope uh, I'm not setting the bar too high, but that's hopefully the next achievement that product management sitting there is going to you can ask him surprise in, in, in us in with. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we can ask him in a minute. Kun, um, if you look at today, uh, how do you experience today? Do you, how is the energy, the vibe? Yeah, I think the energy and the vibe is is very good. What surprised me, to be honest, is we started this morning at 9, uh, 9, 9, 9 with the breakfast, 9.30, but a lot of people were quite early. Um, and actually, during the whole day, um, everybody really kept participating in, uh, in, in the course. And uh, till the end, uh, till 4 o'clock, uh, I really had to say, okay, now we stop. And uh, some people even wanted to go further. Yeah, you had to drag them from the laptop. We really have to drag them from the laptop, yeah, and that's something that uh, that I found actually surprising because mostly after lunch you see a kind of dip and then people start doing other things and meals and those types of things. And but no, they all, all started and continue with uh, with the coding, and I heard very enthusiastic um, reactions from all the participants. So I'm actually quite uh, quite happy. Yeah. yeah, the concentration in the room was completely awesome, considering this is a Friday as well. Yeah, but it was also because of the music. It was good music. It was your playlist, right? <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's my playlist, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Maybe it's time to, to invite uh, Mark and Peter to, uh, to our podcast cool. and, uh, and discuss with them the latest and greatest on those two solutions. Thank you, Koen. You will join us. I will join end? you later on. Yes, cool. Okay. <laughs> that was an interesting push. Yeah. <laughs> But he didn't even then, uh, mention which playlist he was playing. Maybe, Maybe we, we can ask him, him at, the, at the end. Uh, yeah, put, yeah. It in the sh put it in the show notes. Put it in the show notes <laughs> that everybody wants to, to join uh, listening to that, play, to that playlist. Welcome Peter. Yeah. Welcome Mark. Thank you. Hello. And um, welcome to Haneke Fede Netherlands. And today was a special day. It was the Build and Automate Tour in Zegtogenbos in the Netherlands. And I enjoyed the time. I really enjoyed how well all the exercises were prepared. But maybe Mark, maybe you can start with, uh, with what is the latest and greatest on, on AppGyver the day, these days. So what are the latest features? Yeah, we uh, did a lot of improvements regarding the whole BTP integration. So we have now the possibility that you can auth authenticate your app, that the users have single sign on, so your app is secured. And this allows uh, our users to directly uh, connect to BTP destinations. So it's much easier to consume SAT SAP data uh, in the AppGyver apps. And also a great feature, what I personally really like, is uh, that you are able to share your project uh, with other colleagues and um, have real-time development together. So this also allows us now uh, that fusion teams can work together so that a citizen developer can get support of a professional uh, developer and they really col collaborate uh, on one project um, that maybe the business user just simply uh, creates the front end that he because he knows how it should look like and the professional developer uh, takes over the whole complex data binding and everything. Looking and for all the APIs, looking for all the services. Yeah. And is yeah. that something new that's, that's, that's recently built in? Yeah, that's recently built in. So I think we have this feature now for three weeks or something available. Uh, so quite new feature. That sounds cool. So will you have announcements at TechEd? Uh, <laughs> yes, I think it will be also announced at TechEd, but in TechEd... Because this is a scoop, right? Yep. <coughs> but Looks at, like it. But at TechEd there will be some more announcement ah. because we are releasing a new service. Because at the moment in AppGyver... Can we can bribe you to already do those re re uh, announcements? Yes. TechEd is very, <laughs> very close. Okay. <laughs> so at the yeah, moment we only have... We, we just like to say that HANA Cafe was the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So at the moment uh, in AppGyver you just built the front end mm -hmm. and 
what we are releasing at TechEd is that you also uh, have the possibility to create the backend functionalities there to really have a, cool. a data persistency mm -hmm. layer behind it, uh, may, maybe add some business logic uh, behind the application itself. So there will be some cool new things released. With the full stack Mark, application you're development. You're realizing that we're broadcasting this live, right? So this <laughs> is not an internal podcast, it's <laughs> external. And it's yeah, but you also <laughs> announced it this morning. Anything. Yeah, but you, Mark also announced it this morning in the, in the beginning of the workshop. So it's uh, cool. it's probably on the list of where you can talk, or talk about this. <laughs> but it's really great of, to create well, a full stack uh, well, application. Well, I'm just a risky person. <laughs> ah, <laughs> living on the edge. I like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> is it. Is it the most asked question on AppGyver, maybe? Yeah, it's one of the uh, most required features that customer ask for. Hey, um, because at the moment they start building the front end and then they say, okay, now I need some new tables, some new um, data entities yeah. behind it. And yeah, then they would have go to the, to the IT that they uh, create a backend with their prof uh, traditional professional tools. And with this, uh, we will also cover this feature then. Yeah, that's nice. I saw in the previous versions of uh, AppGyver, especially the tutorials, that they were very much relying on things like file, fire, Firebase, right? So that's going to disappear and in favor of the BTP, I suppose. The Firebase will still uh, stay for the community or people who want to use uh, Firebase as a backend. But yeah, for enterprises, uh, we will have the whole backend then available on BTP. That's probably what companies expect from SAP as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have another scoop. A lot of cook. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to uh, more, <laughs> more, <laughs> more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, during the workshop, I also uh, get it also a sort of after movie, but I also asked the feedback for the participants, and they all said, "Yeah, AppGyver was really uh, easy to use," and I think that that is really true. It's easy to use, and it, it helps you in creating your application. And um, so, I always. Um, so you, you're building out the collaborative environment and eh? you're also going to for the full stack application. What, what are the, the, the most important topics for you to, to extend with AppGyver? How do you go, uh, what, what is the way forward? Sorry, difficult question. <laughs> I think uh, one uh, important feature that we will see in the future is really today we saw the basis that we have integrations to other BTP services like process automation to trigger some processes, but we will move our way forward to integrate these solutions more and more together uh, that you maybe have an interface in process automation directly to create your UI that you don't have to switch the tools. So I think what we will see in future is more and more integration with other uh, BTP services. Yeah, yeah. because so there's a lot of potential. So where we have things like forms, it could be AppGuy for instance. Maybe. <laughs> Another scoop? <laughs> Another scoop? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Maybe not this ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also, right, I spoke to you, uh, you were presenting this morning and uh, I whispered in Jan's, Jan's ear, hey, it looks like Visual Composer. He, he you have, you have some grey hair, uh, Peter. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you also remember Visual Composer. I, I remember Visual Composer, yes. Uh, and then that's also uh, the, where you have the all, all things integrated, the UI and, and the logic and of course, in AppGyver, that's, that's also too. So, but <laughs> it looks like uh, like an old visual composer. I was really happy with the visual composer. I was not an, an, an BI consultant, but I was a developer. And to speed up my development process, but so I, I could see you swallowed some word. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, what, what I what I heard from uh, from the folks in the room is that it actually speeds up development for yeah. professional developers as well. And I noticed that myself as well. I mean, I was just mentioning when I was talking to Kun um, that. Well, for instance, if I would have to build something uh, with UI5, um, something similar to what we did today, I would have taken one or two days and I did it in one or two hours, but I expected it to be done in five minutes. But I think you <laughs> used the tool for the first time, so True. maybe I can um, do it okay. in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <ooh. laughs> yeah, Jan. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was it for the podcast. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. Hey, Jan is leaving. Why is that? <laughs> because I'm the weakest link. <laughs> no, you're not. Goodbye. You're not. No, 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 no. no. Ah, that's sharp, sharp. Yeah. Um, how did you experience the, the workshop today, uh, Mark? Uh, I really liked it, especially that all the participants really uh, worked the whole time on the applications um, so it was hard for us to get them uh, to get lunch so that's a good sign that they're really interested using the tool and they didn't want to have lunch they just want to i want to continue i want to finish this AppGyver application and they just produced the first ideas what use cases they can do in their company so that's a good sign uh, that we can achieve something like this in one day 
Well, do you already heard about use cases? Ah, oh, that's cool. That's yeah. that's what it, what it's all about. Huh? To to get inspired and to take that in with, with you to your daily business and see what use case that you have over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Maybe we can also hear then from the, the participants later on in the podcast. Uh, one of the most heard questions, though, oh. um, was where to get the, the hoodie. <laughs> but, and Mark has one. Yeah. And Koen knows how to get one because the Koen has one. <laughs> Maybe we have to ask Koen later. <laughs> are, are there any prices for, for how fast uh, people have developed the application? Probably not for Jan, but how fast people have de developed the application. Thank you, Twan. <laughs> this, this is really enjoyable, this podcast. Yeah, really. I love it. <coughs> Maybe I have some prices with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have to so we have to bribe Mark anyway. Yeah. Maybe I have another hoodie. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Excel size. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, but it is uh, it's uh, it's part it's of the planet. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you got to, uh, you guys have to step out of the podcast and arrange something uh, later. <laughs> but back to the to the to, to the global tour. It's a global tour. So what are the stops that you have already? Um, this is the. F um, uh, it was the third episode or something? Uh, yeah, I think in Europe it was the third ep episode. So I was in Waldorf, I was in London, now here in Netherlands. Yesterday we had an event in Singapore. Next week we have it in Stockholm, in Milano, in Vienna. So oh. we are... And it's all for you. Lots well, of vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the regions I am uh, presenting yeah. at Abgaiva. So we're making a world tour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's uh, so it's 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 one one team that's and that's deploying that all over the the regions in uh, in in the world. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think it's really nice to bring it to the people, to bring it to the customers, to bring it to the partners. And I think it's also I was really happy to have, of course, to have customers today, but also to have partners because the partners are working at customer office and uh, at customer sites, and if they are enthusiastic, then they can also make the customers enthusiastic about the new solutions, the new tools to create applications faster. Yeah. Okay. Peter. Yeah. How did you experience today? Yeah, I <coughs> I also really like uh, that the, the all participants was really fast to build, get a result, yeah, to build the uh, to do the exercise, yeah. um, and that is very important for us because we said, okay, it's a low code, no code solution. Everybody should use this, could use this, and also without any uh, knowledge before upfront. Of this workshop, and then it's really good to see that it's, it's really working. Of course, there is uh, room for improvement yeah. everywhere, yeah, and every time. But uh, it's really working, and it's the right direction. Make it, it the usage of these tools so yeah. easy as possible. Is today also a day for you to bring back feedback to the to your colleagues, to your development yeah, team? Definitely, yeah, definitely, especially for the UX, for the user experience, yeah, so that we can see. Okay, I saw there was some points that it's uh, not so easy to understand how it should work. Yeah? So there is a helper missing uh, so that you can select uh, the red, right values. You have to type it by your own or there is, uh, is a, something missing where you better guiding missing. Huh? So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's two or three topics which I will then also provide to the UX developers to yeah. enhance this. Huh? Yeah. So okay. Really Those were the two easy questions. Yep. So I now it comes. So. <laughs> 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 Have you any scoops for us that you can share with us in Hana Cafe? <coughs> yeah, perhaps not. Let us start with uh, some what is really new. Huh? Okay. So we released it on uh, Wednesday. Yeah? So that is really new. It's yeah. Friday today. Yeah. Yeah? So we released on Wednesday our Action Projects 2.0. Yeah? So what is now an action project in a uh, process automation tool? We give them the, uh, the IT people, so the more professional people, the uh, possibility to yeah, to import API definitions. Yeah. Uh, and this, with this imported API definitions, they can create actions. And this can be easily consumed by a um, citizen developer. And the citizen developer has nothing to know about this API, how it works, how the authentication works. That's just, everything is behind the scenes. Yeah. He knows only, okay, there I can create an FI document in s hana system or get the business partner details and so on. And he can really do everything via drag and drop. And the real complexity is hidden behind uh, the walls huh? and yeah. uh, it's done by the IT department and uh, the citizen developer can easily drag and drop it. Yeah. Now that is really important because with this we can easily integrate to every system which provides APIs, yeah? especially all the APIs which are available in our SAP API Business Hub yeah. can reuse there, easily upload the definition file and then you can directly use it. You can just consume any API that we have available. Yeah. 
And that is important to know that uh, we have SAP process automation comes from two areas, yeah? workflow management and the internal robotics process automation. And all what we build here is available directly in, all, in the complete solution. Yeah? There is no differentiation anymore between it's one package. something for workflow. It's one package for the process part or for the automation part. You can directly use it in both worlds. Yeah. And it's also one license? It's uh, also uh, yeah, one <laughs> license package. Yeah, it's it's uh, okay. not so easy. So we have uh, four SKUs, uh, yeah. but it's uh, it's cheap. Uh, that's is more important. Okay. Than yeah, that's that's, easy, that's yeah? good, especially actually in the Netherlands. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, yeah. sometimes it can be really complicated. If uh, do I have all the servers that I need to build my process? But that's good that it's yeah, one that package. Yeah, that's really everything in one package. Yeah, and uh, it's also then easy consumable via CPA. So that's is really also consumption based. If you don't use it, you have not to pay for it. Uh, that's yeah. also good. And of course, if you want to start it uh, today and try it out. You can then use the uh, free trier yeah. uh, environment on CPA contracts, and uh, then you can start for free. And if it, if you like it, you have only to click two, two three times, and uh, then you have a product environment. Yeah. And that's really cool. That's yeah, really that's cool. really cool. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that the complicated. I noticed that the document information extraction AI service is also included yeah, in. Yeah, that's that is also it's included. It's built in the into the, the it's to the same development environment. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's technically included and it's license-wise included, so they have not to pay additional licenses for this. Yeah, it was also the the, the use case that we built today. Yeah, that's so the use case which we built today, where we extract data, in this case also of an invoice. Of course, you can also extract other data from purchase order or something like this. Yeah? Uh, and. Uh, this service is then directly really integrated from a UI point of view and uh, all the integration stuff is again behind the walls. You have not as a customer, it's not interesting. Uh, we deliver everything. Yeah, exactly. Maybe in, in short, what, what did we build today, Jan? <laughs> <laughs> um, we we built uh, Conquer. <laughs> <laughs> in short. <laughs> in short. <laughs> uh, but um, let, let me put Conquer light, so to say, right? Yeah. So we, what, what we built is basically in uh, a front end using AppGyver, and we have uh, allowed the user to indicate his first name, last name, and to basically scan an, um, a receipt that he has in front of him, or a PDF. And that we send to a document management service. And once it's in the document management service, we kick off the, the, the processing part, which is done using uh, SAP process automation. And the process automation tool will take it from a uh, document from the document management service, it will scan it. It will take the um, the, the information from the document, so, like so the vendor, the, the price, and yeah, correct the gross amount, the the, the sender, and then um, eventually that will go to the process. And I think the objective is to eventually make a journal entry, a financial posting, in the S four environment. But that's sure. something that uh, was excluded from this workshop, I think. Yeah, yeah it uh, was by intention yeah, so that we not have to also to work with an S4HANA system. Okay. You need additional yeah. roles and all this stuff. And it's, it's not doable in uh, in, a f in four hours, yeah, you see. Yeah. You need more time. <laughs> <laughs> Even for an experienced yeah. one. Yeah. But yeah. He, he understood the process, that's good. Yeah. So he yeah. can try it again on Monday yeah, to do it in oh, 10 minutes. You know, the, the, the fun thing is that this is a process that I've seen before. This, yeah. this happens almost at every customer. And most of the time, say, well, sometimes you have those, those, you need those front ends, right? Where yep. you take a picture and you push it into the process. But I also see very often is that customers have this Outlook environment and they have an inbox specifically mm -hmm. for um, payment reminders, for instance. Yep. And then you get invoices as well. So mm -hmm. it would be really cool if you can spin up this process using, um, you know, your Outlook inbox as well. Is, is that a possibility? Yeah, that's, what you, that's that you see? Uh, possible. You can, with the automation part, you can scan the inbox. Yeah, you can scan in the inbox uh, in an on-premise environment where you really have the installation uh, or you can do it with uh, O365 in the cloud yeah, without yeah. any installation on the machine. You can then scan the inbox, download the PDFs, bring it to a document yeah. management service and uh, then you can proceed as of today. Yeah. I think it was also one, <coughs> excuse me. one of the examples with RPA that you use your inbox coupled, uh, connected yeah. to RPA that one scans the inbox and then yep. works from there. Yeah, it's we've seen yeah. that example before, but this is on steroids, right? Because, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you take if you just take an invoice and you process it through RPA, um, what if that invoice is over five million euros? You probably want to have it through a round of approval, right? I this think is so. exactly the thing that the SBA, in, in fact, uh, just adds to the game. Yeah. Yeah. SBA, 
SAP Process Automation. Thank you. Yeah. SAP. I thought it was SAP, but then we're in the wrong order. <laughs> okay. During lunch, Peter, um, we spoke to a participant and he said, hey, is now this service going to replace a workflow service? Yes. Oh, so SAP it's Process Automation replaces uh, the workflow management and the intelligent robotics process automation. So that's the former services on uh, BTP. So we, uh, at the end, we will deprecate these services in the near future, yeah. uh, let's say in this way. Uh, but we will also provide uh, guidance how you can uh, migrate ah. existing instances. I think a lot of uh, customers are happy that they already have extensive automation. workflow uh, usage. Yeah. Yes, so uh, we will make it uh, available that you can uh, deploy and workflow management workflow mm -hmm. in the SAP process automation runtime so that you do not need uh, the workflow management license anymore and you can migrate all your workflows to SAP process uh, automation. So you it's you a mentioned it's a migration process. You don't have to. No, really no, 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 no. I said uh, yeah, it's uh, you have to migrate something. Yeah? So you have to. It is always uh, two things. Uh, it's to provide the functionality. So really the process. And the second thing is what do you do with the uh, existing open instances? Yeah, I say we provide now, take it, yeah, it's uh, the overall topic here, scoop. Uh, <laughs> scoop coming. Uh, <laughs> that we can uh, deploy and workflow management workflow in the SAP process automation runtime. Yeah? What we not do is we don't move the existing instances, the open mm -hmm. instances to SAP process automation. They stay as of today where they are, yeah? so you have to close this there and then you can drop your drop down your um, your uh, workflow management runtime. But if you then want to change it in the future, you have to rebuild it in the process automation environment. If you want to, so you have, you have an existing yeah, you workflow. Have, uh, if you have to an uh, existing workflow and you want to, you can of course you can also rebuild it completely. Yeah, yeah. or you can re deploy it and maintain it via SBus. Yeah? So as of today. You can, so you can still maintain it in the new environment. Yeah. You can change it. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. change it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it uh, will not work. Yeah, yeah exactly. If it makes it's no it's sense, then we could. could uh, oh, well, I think that's good because then you don't force customers to, uh, if you go to the new environment, to recreate everything uh, from scratch. Yeah. It's, it's, be it's better. It, it will be like imported, but then you can use all the facilities that the SBI provides. Yeah. So you can get and can, more. Can turn yeah. Simple workflows into workflows on steroids, bigger, yeah. better, more exciting, that kind of thing. Yeah, and, and create nice UIs on top of that with AppGyver. Yeah. <laughs> there you <Yeah>. go. <laughs> yeah, and that is, I think, that is what what will come. Uh, it's integration, integration, integration. Yeah, that is what SAP is can do best normally yeah, to yeah. deliver integrated systems, yeah, to deliver integration with uh, AppGyver, yeah, more tightly integration as of today. So we have integration with document information extraction service. We will also have we also have this uh, conversion AI integration in the uh, automation part. Uh, there are a lot of integration, and now it comes more to integration with our LOB solutions, S4 HANA, success factors, and so on. Yeah. Where you sometimes not would not even recognize that there is an AppGyver solution or a process automation solution behind. Sometimes you get this as a customer to extend the existing solutions with the local no code functionality. Yeah. yeah, that makes me curious about you know, talking about use cases and talking about our LOB mm -hmm. solutions, right? Uh, today we were building something that is actually very generic. That happens in every company. Is that something that we've, we've seen that from uh, from our integration suite, for instance, that lots of content has been created? Is it also happen that that customers can download just? you know, import in their yep. in integration yep. suite and use it from there. Yeah, as of today, we have, yeah, not uh, integration suite content. We have, of course, our own content for mm -hmm. process automation. We have content for automations and for workflows. We can use the, we have more than uh, 280 content items as of today. Yeah, it's uh, also for free. Yeah, that is uh, nothing where you have to pay for. We have also partners who develop content on top of it so that uh, where they see there is a functional gap or they can uh, say okay uh, from our experience we can automate here process steps they then deliver their own content of course they want to have a little bit money for this uh, really but, uh, really yeah <laughs> um, but uh, it's i think uh, it's also a good sign if custom if our bigger partners also in sure. this case, for example vipro yeah, uh, they developed 15 bots for uh, sap s4 hana utilities yeah, so uh, our big partners really invest here and uh, that's, that's a good yeah. sign that we uh, are on the right path. Yeah, that's nice. Is that also the idea behind the marketplace at AppGyver? Is that also that for partners to create solutions that customers can 
either use free or paid for? Yeah, that's the idea. And maybe we'll be on the same store as process automation in future. That would be great. Hey? More integration. Integrate, integrate, integrate. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what is the scoop for TechEd for process automation? Just hold on. Just, just, oh, sorry. just a quick question about the content. Where can we find it? You can find it in the uh, solution itself. Mm -hmm. There is an uh, icon, uh, an area called store. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned, you can download something, but not uh, buying something. You bought it already. Yeah. That's, and that's you can perfect. directly uh, download it. Uh, you can use it as a template or you can use it as it is. Yeah? We did, for example, as uh, S4HANA colleagues also provide bots which are really related to a scope item in the mm -hmm. S4HANA implementation. Yeah, and uh, therefore you can use these bots directly as these bots will be yeah. delivered because it's for Svana Public Cloud. Yeah, that is uh, really good. Or you can use such bots as a template and can use it. Also, we have a lot of learning content in the store. Uh, you can get a description what what you can do and also an example how you can solve this problem. Yeah, so that you can really learn uh, directly in the system how it yeah. works. I even even notice that Signavio Process Insights actually recommends to, to improve after after you did some mining, right? If yep. After you went yep. through the log files and did your mining and stuff, that it actually comes up with recommendations to improve mm -hmm. processes by implementing a bot and even links to the bot in the bot store. Yes, so that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's uh, it's really good working. That's uh, really a, also a good sign for a collaboration in SAP across different solutions. Yeah. yeah, sure. And also think that if you have this this shop or a marketplace, and if you have more people, more developers, more partners, more customers are going to create content, and if you can find that content really easy, then you get more attraction to the solution process automation together with AppGyver because you can reuse stuff and even build your application, your idea faster than before. Hopefully. Yeah. So maybe that's a uh, scoop from TechEd. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not a scoop from oh, TechEd. No, the only what I can say to TechEd, it's uh, I highly recommend to uh, view the, uh, to, uh, to check in to the uh, keynote from Jürgen Müller. Yeah, you will be in. There will be, uh, I not, will not be in, but SAP process automation in AppGyver will definitely be in. And Mark will be uh, in. I also will not be in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, yeah, we are not so in. Mark, Mark uh, is too busy to travel the world. Yeah, yeah, really to Singapore. Really I, I don't, I don't have time for tech. He's <laughs> running yeah. the, the, the yeah. global tour. But yeah. there, there are will be really some uh, <laughs> bigger announcements that we are not allowed to speak about. Ah. Ah. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's not so far away. Yeah? It's no, not it's, so far it's away as yeah. Christmas. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we would be happy to have the, the, the smaller announcements. Yeah, so bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> what we what we will deliver uh, besides the integration f for AppGyver, um, of course we uh, there are. Yeah, I think it's not the major. Uh, functionalities there are a lot of small functionalities which make it really easier to use the tool yeah? and uh, yeah. to develop faster and also in a collaborative way and so on and there are a lot of small uh, enhancements which really then uh, bring the tool really in a good step forward yeah. Yeah? and uh, that is sometimes more important as the bigger ones also this uh, action runtime was a bigger one yeah? so definitely uh, we also integrate last week uh, with, uh, with the automation parts, uh, Google Workspace and uh, Google AI. Yeah? So this is also not only Microsoft uh, centric anymore, it's uh, also for alternatives open. Uh, and these are the stuff uh, to implement more forms and uh, all these uh, yeah. this small pieces, which we then deliver every two weeks. Yeah? So yeah. that's, yeah, that's, good. that's that great. We that's great from the cloud. One, yeah. one time yeah. in the year. Yeah? That's, of course, it's great for the cloud, but we see also of today, it could be sometimes a problem for such an, uh, such an event yeah? Yeah. because it's uh, changed overnight. Yeah? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Then, <laughs> then you have to change the tutorial. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think we'll, the, we'll the leave the big announcements for TechEd, but we'll have the smaller announcements, more important announcements, right? Yeah. There you today. go. Today, in today's episode of HANA Cafe. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, the, the easier to use, the better the integration is, yeah, the, more, the lower the barrier is to, to use those tools. And I think you can really create great applications with SAP Process Automation and SAP AppGyver. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Let's listen to uh, some participants for, for today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And see what the feedback is uh, on today's workshop. Yeah, I hope, no, they're, still see I hope uh, they're still there because they served the snacks already. And we, ask, we ask a colleague to be director, <laughs> but the director is uh, uh, talking to somebody else. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, they completely lost uh, the, our episode today, which is live. But uh, um, it's see. funny. Someone is looking very nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can have a camera to, sh to zoom in to Koen. <laughs> yeah, but Koen was not the director. Oh. So if you want to listen to us, you can uh, use the headphones. That's that's probably easier to to listen to us. And if you can stay close to the microphone, then. Uh, that's we have a zool stem so if you, uh, yeah? Uh, yeah 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 thank you well <laughs> we skip that from the podcast <laughs> real life so if you can talk as close to the to the microphone as possible that would be great so Harish. Time, dave <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's why i started with Harish because <laughs> dave was uh, here last no two weeks ago yeah yeah, yeah but uh, okay Harish, welcome thank you, you so much you work for arini yeah and how was your experience for today Today was really fantastic and uh, a really big thanks to all the organization team and sap and peter and mark as well so we got a chance to learn a lot of uh, content in terms of process automation, where we can really use it, how we can help SAP customers to automate their business process as well. So a yeah. lot of things to take out for t from today. Yes. Yeah. So you bring it to your customers. Yes, definitely. Which is good. Eh? You, you are a consultant working at customer side. Yes. And uh, if you are enthusiastic, then you can also make the customer enthusiastic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is there also is there a use case that, that you got inspired by today that you want to bring to, to your customer? Exactly. So uh, last week, uh, I met one of my customer. Uh, they are they are in the manufacturing industry. So really, they have a one real use case where I can potentially see where we can use the process automation as well. So what is the current problem they have it? So every quarter, um, so they would like to send a um, materials and price details to each and every customer. So what currently they are doing it? So they are manually downloading all the master data of the customers, master data of materials and um, each quarter they will get the latest price details as well so they are manually manually updating all the excel and uh, they are sending to the customers uh, they come back to me and they are saying it's a lot of redundant task and they are spending a lot of time as well uh, in this process so what i proposed already a solution to use in a process automation but i didn't think of happy gear but this week i will come back to go back to them and i will propose a happy gear because uh, it's a small ui but it has to do a lot of process automation tasks before. Yeah. So there is a potential use case right away I can see from today's session. Next week I will I will talk with my customer, I can propose this solution. Oh, it's a valuable day today for yeah. you. Ah, so, and so, for your so customer. You, you, yeah. You're basically saying that AppGyver wouldn't have done the trick. SBA wouldn't have done the trick either. But the combination of the two exactly. is helping that use case out. Exactly. Exactly. Still in my mind how to build a nice UI because I don't want to use SAP UFI. It's a heavy kind of, you know, you know, it takes a lot of time uh, for development of such a single screen app. So now, happy giver, maybe I can spend two, three hours maximum, I can build a nice UI to the, my customer. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that helps also in, in prototyping to, to get to get feedback from your customer exactly. earlier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So another use case I'm thinking, um, so not I am, so I'm, I'm helping to my customers. Um, so we are uh, trying to build in a BTP automation tool, uh, which can help for the customers. They can able to see all the service instance, uh, what are their consumption based rates and everything. So every weekend, if they don't want to use it, any service, they can quickly turn off the service. Whenever they want to use those services, they can make it up. Yeah. Like in, in terms of HANA Cloud, in terms of any other microservices. Yeah. It's a kind of, you know, automating your B, uh, BTP automations, uh, the entire services side. Uh, customers can save a lot of money as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Harish. So that's helpful that B BTP now has the APIs in order to do yes, so, right? Exactly. That's the beauty of it. Before we, we, we got a chance, but we don't have a certain APIs to do this automation wise. Mm -hmm. Now I can potentially see uh, this can be done uh, easily with this combination of automation pilot along with the API giver and BTP APIs. Uh -oh. Cool. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Dave, you've been to yeah. our cafe two weeks ago, we talked about uh, Neptune and also another low code, no code platform. Yeah. Yep. Um, how did you experience today? Uh, I found it an, an, an oh. yeah, this I found it a nice um, uh, event. So uh, I learned uh, new things. Um, I, d I, d I did explore uh, AppGyver, um, but with with uh, this event, uh, I learned more uh, uh, capabilities of uh, AppGyver. So. Yeah, it's it's a cool tool, um, and the integration with the the, the, the automation uh, platform that's a, that's a nice thing too. Oh. And uh, what I'm curious of is how can we integrate it with uh, uh, the 
standard processes of SAP. How easy is it to integrate it with the... Yeah, we just talked to Peter and uh, of course also to, also to Mark and they said the integration is the most key yeah. from the solution. Huh? The easier it is to consume existing services, the better, the lower the barriers is to use this tool. Yeah. 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 But you did not get today's workshop enough um, experience to, to answer that question. No, um, we got an insight in how the automate, automation uh, works, uh, how you can configure, uh, make your flows, make your uh, uh, approvals. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's quite straightforward, but I'm more interested in the, the SAP, the S4 backend, uh, how you ca can um, um, yeah, integrate your, your, your standard SAP process. How easy is it? And yeah. yeah. Now you have also have experience with, with Neptune, eh? that's what you talked about two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. If you compare Neptune to AppGyver, is it are they similar? It's, is it different? It's it's more like uh, the, the same as the app builder, which I mentioned uh, the, the last time. So you you don't need any coding, just do it with um, formulas or, or, or flows, uh, drag and drop. So that's yeah, like yeah, like the same I think oh. as Neptune. Yeah. Okay. okay. Maybe we can uh, organize a, a challenge for once. <laughs> we use uh, all can, uh, can and we, we have a, Neptune, we Mendix, that? and we have AppGyver, and then there is the same use case, and then Power apps. go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Power Apps, and then yeah. see uh, the four teams working uh, not together, but four teams separately, and then see who win who wins <laughs> yeah. first. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and which, which is your weapon of choice? I will. I will choose. Uh, to oh, yeah, that was sensor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, no, wait, sorry, I didn't. I really didn't hear you. <laughs> I, I, w I would. Uh, I would say I would, uh, would choose uh, Neptune then. And Arini, yeah. if you would participate in this um, contest, low code, no code battle. Battle. Process automation of SAP. Happy Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because. As I said before, um, so many um, kind of implementations uh, we have done already in this area, in the space. And um, the last one and a half year, I'm supporting this customer from ACC to S4 on a public cloud migration. Mm -hmm. So we see a lot of uh, gaps because SAP has a roadmap to release all the functionalities in S4 on cloud, but uh, business doesn't want to stop their business as well. So we are using BTP and uh, kind of this solution stack and uh, we are building a lot of extensions apps. Uh, to the customer yeah that, that, that that's where uh, from my heart i can say i've seen the value of the btp and uh, how quickly we can build and how it can help to the customer so uh, you, you will be backed up by a couple of very nice announcements during tech Head. that's why that's what we learned just now yeah. so dave yeah are you sure no i, I will use uh, the 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 btp platform for sure yeah but at the front end I want to use uh, Neptune, <laughs> which, is <laughs> connect, yeah, which is possible. Connect with with uh, the the process automation. Uh, okay. As a challenge. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's one of the things that is easily forgotten. I mean, during days days like these, we're talking about SAP, f you know, from front to back. Yeah. Um, the, the the front end using using uh, AppGyver. Um, SAP process automation. We're talking about uh, all those AI services on the business technology platform. We, tr we are talking about moving it into S4. But I think one of the key things about the whole uh, stack that we have built so far is that it is, it is so open that you can basically use yeah, anything yeah, there. Yeah. So you can build your front end using Neptune. You can build your process automation using SAP process automation. And you can feed it into Salesforce. Yeah. Ooh, did you say that? No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Oh, it's recorded, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it, is. it is. Oops. Bleep. Let's do that. Bleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was a long time ago I used to uh, work for this one. Thank you, Arish. Thank, Thank you, you, Dave. Let's see if we can uh, get two other participants to Thank for you. today's workshop and see what their experience is from today. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So Let's we see if look for uh, our director uh, again. director again is lost. I, I see people from catering. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the director is, Kun, but maybe you can find the Capgemini people that wanted to share their experiences. No, no, they are behind. Uh, the guy in the blue suit. A suit? Do we have a suit today? Wait, what? 
That sounds <laughs> that sounds like a business consultant. <laughs> and maybe he's your he's the business user. He's the citizen, maybe he's the citizen citizen developer. Can you still remember that we had this thing? Oh, but, um, no. Uh, okay. Nobody wants. Oh, okay. We, we still had this game about. They uh, they uh, they are so happy with the 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 drinks right now. Maybe you can uh, put on the headphones. Yeah. Then uh, they have to do it with me. Uh. They have to do it to meet one. But I'm always happy to work together with you, Kun. Oh, thank you. If you thank stand you very much. Uh, to oh, yeah. Just I, I would consider a hoodie like that a suit as well. Yeah, then you have to... Uh, didn't you ask Mark? Uh, we did. For, for and shirt, and we did. He, said, he, he said, maybe I have one hoodie left. Yeah, so in, in my size. We don't yeah, know... With my name on it. No, no, no. no that's no, not no, what he no, said. No, no. Not with your name. Let's, let's continue to content that's interesting for everyone, not only for you, Jan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So we heard a lot of, 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 of course, of Peter and of, uh, of Mark and uh, some scoops, small scoops uh, for SAP Tech at Keynote, which we will watch also with the community here in the Netherlands later. Um, the bigger scoops they unfortunately reserved for us. Uh, we also heard feedback from the participants and also feedback from Mark and Peter. They were really happy with today's uh, um, enthusiasm on all, the, on all the workshops. Any closing remarks, Koen, from you, from your side? Yeah, actually, um, this was a very good day, and for me, it's a start. It's not mm. an end. And I think we really have to see how we continue this in 2023. And actually, I, I had the intention to um, talk with you about it, but during the day, I forgot it. Oh. So let's do it live. I think it's a really good idea to organize these events next year again, but maybe also a real hackathon. Yeah. Now we just came up with a, with a, with a challenge, with a, with a competition. Maybe we, if we invite a Neptune team, we invite an AppGyver team, we invite a Mendix team and an uh, App Builder team. So you have four teams, four different low-code, no-code platforms. Give them the same use case and good luck. And then see who's, who, who runs fastest and who has the first results. And, yeah. see. and, and who's best integrated with SAP. That's, of course, an important topic as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but it's, if it's all the same use case, then you have a backend, you have APIs and then good luck. And then see who's the fastest and the best. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think that, that that can be a solution, but but also AppGyver and, and process automation that that's really in development at SAP. So I think that we can do these types of events uh, two times, three times uh, a year, yeah. also to keep the community. I uh, think involved. if you look at it, <laughs> we have gray hair, Jan. So we have worked for a few years already in the SAP environment, and when. SAP came with the SAP NetWeaver cloud platform. You remember that one because we talked about that in Hana Cafe in earlier uh, episodes as well. 2012. Yes, exactly. October. But what did SAP do? What did the developer Never. advocates do? They brought the environment, they brought the cloud to the people and they did workshops, they did go jams, they did uh, hackathons. And that's where you learn actually how those solutions work. Yeah. And I think that's important. Yeah, because definitely. slide slide where you don't buy a car from a PowerPoint slide, you buy a car if you have driven in the car. Yeah, exactly. It's also with software. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I think we also have to promote the usage of course of the of the of the tools. And there are also quite some customers today here. And they were really enthusiastic uh, and they really saw the benefits of using uh, process automation and, and AppGyver also in a combination with uh, Mendix or Neptune uh, that they already have. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not or or I think it's N N. Yeah. at the moment and depending on the business case depending on what you want to do um, you, you can make your choice uh, in that and i think that that's really a good closing remark uh, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what i heard as well that yeah. when, when you talk about local no cut platforms and uh, we can see that our uh, solution extension partner mendix is being used in the digital domain quite often but if you look at the sip domain um, there's still ground to gain and i think this is also why uh, well what a lot of customers are looking for uh, what their weapon of choice would be in that domain. And I think if you look at Mendix and AppGyver and Neptune, they're all very good contenders there. So <laughs> I'll, I'll be very interested in that, in that battle, actually. Uh. I, I would ask them to make not a business application, but build Pac-Man. Pac how, how would that work with these kind of platforms? Mm, pong. Pong. <laughs> pong of Pac-Man. Oh, Something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be <laughs> I just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I, I think it's actually quite interesting to organize a kind of hackathon and also create... That, that competition element in it. What uh, was the and, and game that we created with UI5? Yeah. And, 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 and then we have the goodies, and the goodies are the, these, these, these trousers. To code yeah. or not to code? To code or not to code. And everybody can have a good. Oh, count me in. Count me in, good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the first two to part uh, participants we already have. Okay. Yeah. Sure. So yeah. the enrollment in this competition 
will give you the benefit of this beautiful suit? Or do I have to win it? <laughs> do I have to win the game as well? To win the game, of course. So now you know what's on stake, it's right? Uh, yeah. It's raising the bar. Yeah, yeah okay. it's raising the bar, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, nothing Any is easy in life, Jan. Final, uh, final remarks, Koen, uh, for today. It was an awesome day. Uh, good vibe, nice people, um, and something to continue next year. Yeah, it's not an end; it's a start. It's, an, it's definitely yeah. a start. From you, your side, Jan. When I was in diapers. <laughs> and I learned to code ABAP. Yeah. I thought that was the start. <laughs> and it's been going on for like uh, centuries since then. Probably. That's how, that's, a, that's how old yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> centuries, yeah. And um, now it's, it's a good thing. It's a good development, actually, I think. Uh, not, not only for to, to get more people on board, but also for uh, the gray haired developers that, you know, are coding in ABAP at a certain point in time. It, it's it's uh, challenging and it's um, um, interesting, but at a certain point, you know, it's always interesting to look at something different as well. And if it's difficult to onboard something because of the high learning curve, um, then it's not so interesting to, to, to put your time into it and to invest in it, right? But what I've seen today, when you look at AppGyver and SAP Process Automation and the, the, um, the learning curve involved there, uh, which is so much lower, uh, it will be interesting to just take it on and see what it does yeah. for you. I, I, I can kind of thinking of the um, the whole uh, thing that uh, that Robin went through as well. He was so averse against yeah. Robin, um, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he was so averse against looking into low code platforms and the accelerators and stuff. He said, "I can code better." Um, until he really started using those low code tools, we should get him into the <laughs> into the podcast <laughs> into the as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it okay. can also be a threat. But I mean, if you're a hardcore developer in ABAP and you see, oh, everybody's going to public cloud, there is no ABAP, or at least not all the functionality of ABAP are available anymore, and I have to start using low code, no code, and I become obsolete as a person. That can be, that's a natural reflex. Yeah, yeah, but maybe, maybe even a language become, can becomes obsolete. I mean, in yeah. 40 years, 50 years, who is co coding in ABAP anymore? I don't Maybe know. ABAP will die yeah, but eventually. ABAP has been pronounced dead for a few times now, and it's not still not dead. So there are even T-shirts for that. <laughs> uh, but also, if you look at the Neptune platform, then you can use your ABAP skills to create the low-code, no-code uh, platform uh, solution. Sorry. Yeah. 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 So will it be possible? You think? Maybe that's something that we should recommend to the product management team. If you do low-code, to have a little bit of fragments of ABAP in there, so that the language doesn't get forgotten. Okay, that's, okay. I, th <laughs> that's I, I, I think that's a very good closing remark. And on yeah, that yeah, bombshell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's not about the technology. It's never been about the technology. It's about what you can create, of course, with the technology, how you can uh, fulfill the wishes of your business business users. And I the think these, of the these, possible. Yeah, the, yeah, these platforms make that possible, which is really cool. And even faster than before. Yeah, Definitely. That's, that's cool. All right. And your closing remarks? Uh, yeah, this. Okay. It's not about technology. It's, it's about, about what you can do with the technology. Okay. It's how, how you make your end users happy and how to fulfill the business wishes. That's important. Yeah. Excellent. And it's not an, but it's, it's not, an, it's not the end. It's the it's beginning. The and uh, maybe it's good to, to also uh, watch together to the keynote from SAP TechEd, where new announcements will be done. And that's November 15. And if you want, uh, dear uh, listeners, dear, dear watchers, if you want to join us, you can join us on October, no, November 15, 4.30 at the SAP TechEd keynote watch party. We will pre-discuss the keynote and we'll also discuss afterwards what uh, your experience is from the keynote and what did you expect and is that been fulfilled or not by Jürgen Müller and his friends. Yeah, sign up on our meetup site. Sign up. Yep. Yes. Thank you. And, and oh. watch LinkedIn because we create a terrific teaser. So this is the teaser for the teaser. That's still to be Perfect. created. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, it will be great. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it will, will be great. Hopefully. Thank you very much for listening today. Thank you very much for watching today or watching in the replay. This was Haneke Fernandes. See you the next time. Dankjewel voor het luisteren naar deze aflevering van Hana Café Nederland. Heb je feedback voor ons? Laat het dan zeker weten. Wil je ook een keer aanschuiven in het café? Stuur ons een berichtje en geef gelijk aan waar je het over wilt hebben. Tot de volgende keer.